Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to block specific websites on Google Chrome. So the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have activated and enabled uh, the ability to install Google Chrome plugins or extensions is what they call them. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can click the three dots here and then what you would want to do is you would want to go to settings and then once under settings, what you would want to do is go down to where you see extensions. So what you want to do is go to the Google Chrome web store by going to chrome.google.com. Uh, and then once you are here, you want to go and search the Chrome Web Store uh, for B-L-O-C-K site. So just the two words, block site. Uh, and then once you've done that, you want to select and click on the second or third one down. It should say block site, block websites and stay focused. Uh, you don't want to do the one that is a block site plus. This one requires payment. You want to utilize this guy right here. And then once you have found it, you want to click into that extension and then you want to click the blue button that says add to Chrome. It says it's going to read and change all your data on all websites. Go ahead and say add extension. You're good with that because it's going to have to be able to do that in order to block specific or certain sites. Then it's going to ask you to go ahead and accept. So click the green button that says I accept and then go ahead and skip the payment option there because you don't want to pay for it. And then what you want to do is click the skip button until you get to the actual interface. You'll see some confetti come down. And now what we want to do is you can see here that we have uh, the tutorial kind of walking us through what to do. But what we want to do is go ahead and type in right here where it says enter a web address. We want to go ahead and type in the uh, website that we want to block. So go ahead and type in whatever website that may be and then click the green button over here that says add item. Now you can see under my blocked sites, I have one, which is this website here. And then if I wanted to, to just double check, I could open up a new browser tab and I could try to go to that actual website. And as you can see, uh, using the uh, extension here, this site is blocked. Uh, I can even password protect it if I want to. Uh, but if I go back to the uh, block site kind of extension page here and I'm like, hey, I want to go ahead and delete that. You can click the uh, trash can here and it will remove that specific block site. Also, you can block by words. You can actually click on the block by words option here. And if you have specific words or phrases like social media, Facebook, uh, tick, whatever you want it to be here, you can enter a word or a phrase and that will block all sites associated with that. It casts a rather wide net, so be careful when you do that. And if you want to, you can enable or disable this extension uh, by just selecting right here where it says blocking. You have the little checkbox here. We can disable by just you know going ahead and turning that off. And then you can see it's going to be turned off. But if we enable, it's going to be over to the right and set to green. That's going to make sure that any site that we have blocked here is indeed going to be blocked. There's a number of reasons why you'd want to do this. If you have kids or teenagers or you're at a school or a workplace and you want to blo block specific sites for your employees or students or uh, just for your kids at home, or maybe you are wanting to be more productive and you want to block all social media for a specific time, uh, you can do all of that here. Now, if you want to get into more depth as far as like blocking for specific time periods and time frames, uh, as well as getting your own custom block page and password protection, uh, you can pay for this extension if this is something that you find very necessary. But in general, just blocking sites as a whole, just download this Chrome extension and you are good to go. If you're having issues installing this extension, please uh, follow my link on how to do that and inst install extensions on Google Chrome. Very easy. If you have any further questions, put those in the comment section below. If it helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.